A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned around and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without dating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. In the life of Santa Teresa de Jesus, it is told that one day, the devil appeared to her while she was at prayer. And because the devil was disguised as Jesus Christ, Santa Teresa started a conversation with her surprise visitor. And only after a few seconds, Teresa exclaimed, You are not my Lord. And the devil, disguised as Jesus, smiled and uh, amazed, asked Teresa, Yes, I am the devil, but how did you know that I am not your Lord? I look like your Lord. Teresa said, My Lord has wounds. You have no wounds. You are not my Lord. The Lord was recognized in the healing he did. The Lord was recognized in the bread he multiplied, but the glory of the Lord is in his holy wounds. The Lord has wounds, and those who follow the Lord cannot run away from getting wounded. Because at the twilight of our lives, we will be judged according to the wounds of love that we carry in our souls, that we endured in our bodies. The Lord tells us, come follow me. The Lord actually tells us, come follow me, come die with me. What does it mean when the Lord says to us, carry your cross daily? What does it mean when the Lord says to us, you cannot be my disciple unless you carry your crosses? First and foremost, we must accept it. Pain is part of life. We cannot run away from pain because we will be running away endlessly because pain is part of our lives. Frustrations, disappointments, being disillusioned, all of these are part of life. To be suspected, to be taken for granted, to be ignored, to be forgotten, all of these are part of life. And these cause us pain. We have to accept that pain is a part of life, and pain wraps life with its blessings. Because the best lessons we learn in life are those that we learn while in pain. Easy living, comfortable living, convenience, these are very poor teachers. The best teacher is pain. The best teacher is darkness. The best teacher is difficulty. We learn best under most difficult times. But as the Lord tells us, come follow me and carry your crosses, it is important to remember that while we carry our crosses, we should not force others to carry our crosses. In other words, we cannot ask others to suffer because we are suffering. Do not make others suffer because you are suffering. Do not hurt others because you are hurting. That is not license for hurting others. God allows us to endure pains. But if you are sick, if you are enduring bodily maladies, if you are frustrated and disappointed, that does not give you any license, any permission to hurt others. To carry your cross daily is to carry it courageously, but do not become a suffering for other people. The third thing that we must remember is there are two types of death. The first is terminal death. The second is paschal death. Terminal death will happen only once because it ends all possibilities. But when the Lord asks us, to come and die with me. When the Lord asks us, 
you must die, it is not about suicide. It is about dying every day, dying day by day, because life is really many deaths that we have to endure, many dyings that we have to endure. And through these dyings day by day, we also experience the rising of the Lord, the Paschal mystery. Because the Paschal mystery is the core of our Christian lives. The fourth lesson that is entrusted to us is the pains that come into our lives, the crosses that we need to carry, invites us to patience. Patience, which means waiting. The Lord gives you His cross. Wait for the resurrection because the resurrection is sure. The Lord gives you pain. Wait for Easter Sunday because Good Friday can only lead you to the glory of Easter. The problem with us is we have become people who are so enamored, who are so in love with instant things that we cannot wait anymore. But to wait is to love, and true love waits. To carry your cross daily is to wait patiently, lovingly, cheerfully for your own resurrection. Let us also remember that as we suffer, the Lord sends us unexpected gifts. We pray for something, and yet the cross is given. We pray for another grace, but another grace is given beyond our expectations. We ask for what we need, but God gives us what He knows we need. Because sometimes what we think we need are not really needs. And the Lord knows best what we need. And if this cross comes from the Lord, it can only be the best for us. And as we carry our crosses daily, let us always remember, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Even death can be transformed into new life. Our pains can be transformed into hope. And the bread can be changed into his body. The wine can be changed into his blood. Nothing is impossible for God. Brothers and sisters, at the sunset of our lives, the Lord is going to ask us, how much did you love? And the proof of love is in getting wounded because there is no greater love than to die for your beloved. God bless you.